Hello everyone, this is Jerry at Lisa's Clarinet Shop. I'd like to talk to you briefly about improvisation and share an exercise that I like to use with students, young people, or people of all ages who are not experienced improvisers. This is a, a word and a concept that too many musicians feel afraid of or disempowered around. And improvisation is a basic and wonderful thing and nothing to be afraid of. In this exercise, we're going to explore some basic intervals, major minor third, major minor seventh, in every key. We'll follow a chord progression you could think of as the cycle of fourths. So C would go to F, B flat goes to E flat, A flat to D flat, etc. around the cycle. The exercise uses one simple gesture that starts on the minor third, then goes to the major third, then the root, major seventh, minor seventh of every key around the cycle in every chord. So in the case of C7, we have E flat to E, C, B, B flat, like so. From there, we'll go to the next chord in the cycle. So we're using dominant sevenths. So we'll start on C7, then that'll go to F7, then B flat 7 to E flat 7, and so on around the cycle. And keep going. I love the sound of this serio oscuro. Almost got distracted, but I'm back with you now. When you get to the bottom of the instrument, go back and start with the chord that is a half step above wherever you started before. So I was on C7, now I'm gonna go C sharp seven. so on and so forth. This is, a, as I said, a simple way to start bringing your attention to these notes in each key that will have a tremendous meaning and, and have strong ramifications as you start to learn how to go across chord progressions. Also, this cycle is very, very important. Cycle of fourths, as you can say, five, one pattern, you also see it in a 2-5 progression. Wonderful thing to get into your mind early, especially if you're going to be improvising in a jazz context or other contemporary music. You also see it in classical music. You see it for hundreds of years. Bach, same exact concepts, following the same exact patterns. I would encourage you to do this from memory and let your ears do the work. Again, basic, basic, basic exercise to help you start thinking about spontaneous composition, creating your own music. Thank you very, very much. I'll talk to you again soon. Keep practicing.